Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun new video. As you can see in the title, we will be swatching the Kat Von D Shade and Light Glimmer Palette. This palette just launched, was it on Monday that it launched? Either way, I was lucky enough to snag it online and I thought it would be so fun if I swatch it on my medium tan yellow skin tone for you guys uh, because we all want to know what this palette's going to be like. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I usually try to upload every other day. I have been slacking. It's been so busy this summer, you guys. Literally, something comes up every night. So I hope you guys understand. I have all these videos filmed and ready to go. I just have to edit them. So that takes a lot of work. If you've ever edited a YouTube video, you know how much work it is. Anyway, without further blabbering, let's get into this box. Okay, so I literally just got home and uh, I decided to open this on camera. Again, I always like to show you guys how well Sephora packs things. So this is my receipt and here are some of my samples that I got from them. And I hate how you sign up for samples and you never get what you signed up for. So I don't even know why Sephora gives you like a choice when it comes to samples because it is so pointless. They put a nice, um, you know, bunch of paper in there, which is great. I did get this little sample size of the Drule uh, Rosewater Balancing Mist. It's a refreshing mist to hydrate and soften. I believe I heard Olivia from Live Loves Makeup talk about this, and I wanted to get it, and uh, I did. So let's spray some of that on. I was so excited for this video. I just realized that I don't even have a lipstick on. This is very rose scented, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you're going to like it. Cute little box that needs to go in the trash, which is over there. I made it. And then here is the store of the show. More paper. Throw the box over that way. It's a little rough around here, you know what I mean? Let me see if I can try and find a lipstick real quick. Real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Ooh, this is a pretty color. This is uh, Amorous by MAC Cosmetics. I used to love having like a Jillian MAC lipsticks, but I literally don't touch them anymore. I'm thinking of filming a MAC lipstick declutter, maybe having like a sale if you guys are interested, let me know. But I do like this lip shade. I would definitely keep this one, but Okay, this is what the packaging looks like. Now this isn't a review, guys. I'm just doing swatches, but oh. Okay, first thing I noticed on the back, there's always an expiration on palettes, and this one says nine months, which is not very long. It's not even a whole year, which is interesting. It says it's made in Canada, and it's vegan, and I'm assuming cruelty-free, because that's a big deal for Kat Von D. And there are 12 shades in this palette. Now, I like the box. It has like this holo shimmer thing, you know. I don't have the original Shade and Light palette, the eyeshadow palette. I do have the contour palette. I really like use that to death. I don't know where it is right now. I'm sure it's in one of my many, many drawers. But I have the cardboard packaging. So I know Kat Von D recently revamped her Shade and Light palettes to have plastic packaging and it's really nice. It's got the shimmery holo writing up here and this shade and light is raised so there's like texture to it and it feels really nice. And uh, there's a nice mirror in here and these are the shadows. First impression, they're a lot prettier than I thought they were gonna be because the matte palette is very blah looking so I'm excited to have this and uh, yeah, let's see how the swatches work out. So I'm gonna swatch, should we do the big three first? Let's do that first. So pretty soft. I haven't played with the Kat Von D palette in a, a while. These would be like your neutral shades, probably like barbone highlights and things like that. Very, you know, neutral kind of blah, nothing really to kind of write home about with those. This is the shade Porcelain, the middle one is Dusk, and then Dune is this brown shade. Very desert vibes, almost dropped the palette there, that would have been nice, huh? 
Okay, so now I'm going to swatch these three right here. Super pretty. So we have copper, we have bronze, and we have sterling. Uh, bronze definitely felt really powdery. Actually, my pan is loose in that particular quad. So that's really scary quality wise. That really freaks me out. So there are those three shades. So far, to me, this palette is like really boring. It literally makes me want to take a nap. And next, I'm going to swatch these three shades. So we have Cider, we have Onyx, and we have Glacier. And these all have shimmer in them. Obviously, it's called a glimmer palette. There are some different textures. For example, this is like a true, you know, shimmer shade. This is a matte shade with glitter in it. And then this one looks more like a, I don't know how to describe it, but it's got a lot of glitter in it. So those are the next three shades. Again, super boring. Really not doing anything for me, this palette. Okay, and then I'm going to swatch the last three, which are Rust, Jasper, and Quartz, which looks really beautiful in the pan. These three look really pretty. So let's see how they swatch. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the rust swatch, like it's so smooth, but the other two are basically just glittery and, did I do this right? They're just glittery and not very exciting to look at, so I'm kind of bummed. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're, they are on my finger. Let me just swatch them on the back of my hand again. I shouldn't have swatched on the inside, but there they are. So these are all the swatches of the Kat Von D Shane and Light Glimmer Palette. First impressions, guys, this palette is a snooze fest. Like, I'm honestly not thinking I'm going to keep this because I'm really not going to enjoy this. And then the other thing I was going to say, too, is because it's all shimmer, you would really need a matte palette for, like, your crease shades and things like that. So I was going to say you'd probably need to pair this palette with an all matte palette to get any eye look but these shades are super boring to me I'm actually unimpressed I'm actually more excited just looking at like an all matte palette like this where I know these colors are pigmented buttery and just work so well if you're gonna give me like ordinary shades like this they really need to like pop and be bam and I know the matte palette of the shade and light palette is a lot of people's go-to but I can't imagine anyone that loves glitter shadows is going to enjoy this formula. I think it's very basic. I mean, it just wipes right off. It's very light and it only has a nine month shelf span. So why would you buy an almost $50 palette that you can only use for nine months? You know what I mean? So keep all of those things in mind. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. That is it for my swatch party of the Kat Von D Shade and Light Glimmer Palette. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them down below. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching. Bye!